this is Sujin from Sujin's Corner and Spouse Information Center. Working on the second video about dryers. I got the washer going right now with the de-liming thing. I can't pronounce it, it's a German word. But now we're going to go on to dryers. One of the big things people complain about with the dryers is them not drying their clothes. You need to rinse your filter. If you don't rinse your filter, you're gonna have no air flow. It's not gonna flow as well. One of the problems people have with their dryers, they complain they don't dry all the way. Did you know you're supposed to rinse your filter? You can see right now, the water is just collecting. It's not even going through. All I do is hot water and rinse it. Here is the side that is rinsed. All the water goes right through. This side, not rinsed. The water hardly goes through. Hot water and just rinse your filter. I got airflow. On base, we have a dryer. We need to film right back here, buddy. That has this type of hose with this. I call out housing and they come and they clean this out. I'm not allowed to clean that out, but it's very simple to do. You just remove where the screws are, you pull off and you clean the hose out. Now, what I am able to do is on the inside of my dryer, if you could look in here, you can see all that extra lint. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna take my little vacuum cleaner here. We're gonna clean it all out. All right. I just vacuumed all that out. You can see all that's gone now. My filter is rinsed. I'm gonna put it back in. And now my dryer will work better because the airflow is getting through there. Think of it kind of like a car engine. If you don't change the oil and it gets all nasty and sluggish, one, you're gonna ruin the engine. It's not gonna run as good. You're gonna spend more money on gas. If you don't have good airflow, it's not gonna work good. It's gonna take longer to dry your clothes. Another thing that you can do with your washer is you can do an extra spin only getting your clothes even drier. Now, I don't have a condescending, it's not condescending, yeah, I don't have a condescending dryer. Condenser. condenser dryer. I personally don't have a condenser dryer. I'm going to leave a link, <laughs> condescending dryer. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link in the description below and also in the blog for those that have one of those types of dryers. It's a great video explaining what's wrong or what could be wrong with your dryer and they break it all down. You can learn how to make your dryer work better by watching their video and learning what could be wrong with it. Now with the dryers that have the air filter and the dryer hose, you can see it explains here how to rinse the filter, both in the German and English version. Talks about not leaving anything hanging out. And then we go to right here. One of the biggest problems that I've noticed with Americans is we are used to the very large machines. We are overfilling the washers and dryers. When you overfill the washer and dryer, your clothes will not come completely clean and it will take you longer to dry your clothes. Here is an example. We have the German version and English version of how heavy the clothes can be and what settings to use. You may have to 
take some of your clothes out and hang them up. I love air drying my clothes. I do an extra spin cycle on my washer for my jeans and my sweaters and I hang them to dry and they're dry the next morning because the spin cycle works so well. Again, I will be leaving the link down below for the, and I'm gonna call it the condescending dryer because dryers are very mean to you, um, <laughs> for you to find out the information. You can click the link here in a moment, a video will pop up for how to use and clean your washing machine. I hope you enjoyed this Spouse Information Center video. If you have any questions, just ask. If there's a video you would like to see, please share it in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, bye.